get much bigger than this, folks. It doesn't get much bigger than this. It's the Nobbers up against Rovers at Deepdale, and it's time for some sweet revenge. Let's get into it. Folks, back once again with another match preview. This time, looking forward to Preston North End up against Blackburn at Deepdale. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button, keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related. Whoa, football and everything all here. Under one Ruski, that's right. It's one of the games we look out for these days, of course. We don't have the, the, the true dingles. They're all stuck in the old Premier League for now. Uh, but right here, right now, the derby of the season. It is Preston against Rovers, or Rovers against Preston. And we're going to be locking horns for the first time this season at Deepdale. We'll get to that in just a second. Oh, big, big shout out, of course, to the Patreon gang. Behind the scenes, I do appreciate your support, especially through times like these. But anyway, let's kick on and get into the match uh, with Rovers going down to Deepdale, of course. Before that, again, if you want to support the channel in a way, you can become the latest member of the Patreon gang. I don't know, I forgot to tell you all why. But anyway, let's go into it and take a little look at the match itself. Of course, it does take place at Deepdale. We'll talk about that in a minute. Of course, Rovers against uh, the Nobbers. And we, we have not been the greatest bit of luck against these boys recently. But let's take a look at the key men that matter. Start off with the hosts, of course. Uh, Alex Neal, the manager, pulling the strings at the moment for uh, for Preston. They've got their captain, Alan Brown, who's got where's the captain armbands for the first. Well, you know, I think he's taken over the reins from Clark, who did he leave this season? I don't know. Uh, Scott Sinclair is your danger man up top uh, with five goals to his name uh, so far. Of course, as for Rovers on the flip side, we've got Tony Mowbray leading the charge once again. Uh, the manager pulling the strings. Dale Lennon wins the captain's armband for the most part. And Adam Armstrong is your kingpin striker at the moment. Again, a little bit cold at the moment. Not, not on, on all cylinders, but uh, well, hopefully we will see him in tip-top shape. Next up, of course, it does take place right here at the uh, shithouse extraordinaire. It is Deep Dale. Yes, I've been there a couple of times myself. Not been there in a while, but uh, of course, we know none of us are going to be there, of course, uh, as we uh, anticipate this derby. Ho hopefully, without any hostile environments uh, for Rose to sidestep this sucker and hopefully sidestep into three points. Uh, so, look at the stats then, of course, for the key men uh, for Preston heading into this, into this. Of course, Sinclair's got himself five goals to his name. Barkusen's got himself a couple as well already. Uh, and Johnson as well, of course, penalty extraordinaire. And again, if, if there's any penalties in, in town, uh, I'm sure he will step up and I'm sure he will convert because he's pretty lethal that way. As for the assists, uh, Lesson's got himself a couple of assists. Hughes has got one, Rafferty's got one as well. As for the yellows, uh, Brown needs a charge there with four yellows. Uh, Johnson also has got himself four, and Fisher's got himself two. Uh, on the cusp of a, of a ban there, potentially. Of course, Barkus has got himself sent off, uh, controversially, uh, perhaps, as well. I think that's trying to get uh, negotiated or, 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 or downwinded. I don't know when they got sent off. I don't know. But anyway, that's your key men, of course, heading into this. Of course, the matches uh, are the statistics for you heading into this bad boy. Uh, let's take a closer look at it then, shall we, uh, with, with, in regards to Preston North End. So Preston actually, in fact, scoring uh, what uh, a fair few goals already. This is nine through open play, three penalties, two set pieces, and two counter attacks. They've actually their attacking avenues are coming down the uh, majority down the right hand side. Forty percent of all attacking avenues coming down there. Uh, Thirty six down the left, twenty four percent down the right. Uh, and as for the possession wise, forty three percent of the old possessions kept in the middle third. Thirty one percent in the opposition third, and twenty five percent in the uh, in their own third, the defensive third, of course. Heading into this though, the shots directions. Of course, they've had uh, uh, you know the, the majority of the Shots coming in the 18 yard box, 59% so far, 38% on the long range bad boys, and just 3% in the six yard area with a scrappy goal bar, goal, goal, goal scoring zone there. 65% uh, of all the shots down the middle, 21% down the left, 40% down the right uh, as Preston uh, tries to kickstart their season. They've had a bit of a hokey pokey sort of start so far to the season. Uh, let's take a closer look at the last few games, of course. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, they come to this, of course, just, just the other day, beating them 1 0 at Deepdale uh, to, I think, it's their first winner of the season at, at home, so a good result for them to, to kickstart the season probably at the right time as well of course it, of course so it is well hopefully hopefully uh because usually we're one of those teams you know we, we you know when a new first new manager comes in they get their first win when a goal scorer hasn't scored in 25 goal games it's against rovers uh you know haven't won at home then they'll play against us and they win at home with with that happens to us a fair amount and i was expecting this would be their first win against rovers so hopefully they'll go back to losing ways uh before that um let's take a close look at they took on rotherham i think they got beat by rotherham wasn't it 3-1 in the end uh that was an away day uh, of course, two one it was final score. Uh, Reading they got uh, they got smashed as well. Uh, sorry, they, they just smashed Reading three 0 quite comfortably uh, at the Majeski, of course. Uh, Birmingham City they lost two one at home, uh, and of course they took on Millwall and they also lost at home. So hopefully we can get a bit of that, a bit of that rub of the green 
on the flip side on the horizon after Rovers they take on Bournemouth on the start of the December is that right on the 1st of December uh, after that they take on Wickham Wanderers on the 5th of December uh, is that right I'm sure they must play another game before Bournemouth give me a second here hang on a second here let me have a quick scan here the yeah, Bournemouth Bournemouth uh, yes, they take on Watford. They take on bloody Watford, but we're going to plough one anyway. Uh, they're going to take on Middlesbrough, of course, on the 9th of December. They take on Luton Town on the 12th of the 12th. And I'll give you a bonus here we're against Barnsley, of course, on the on the road. Uh, so Preston have got quite a few tricky games there. Bournemouth are going to be tricky. Middlesbrough will be tricky. Luton will also be very, very difficult as well. Barnsley also on the turn. You know, every game is very, very difficult, of course, uh, for these bad boys. So let's try and pick a team then, shall we? For bloody uh, for Preston North End. So let's get into it and take a little look at uh, at my team. I'll probably stick rub between the sticks. I think Bauer centre back. Of course, he is uh, one of those players that we've been uh, we were currently looking after uh, way back when. Rafferty probably at right back in the back four. Uh, Huntington is an option at centre back. We'll slide him in there for the moment. And Fisher as well. Fisher has he, has he been playing at left back? I think he has been. Story's been on the bench of late, so we'll leave him out. Davis. I don't know what his deal is either. Uh, Pearson will probably start if he's fit and uh, raring to go. Johnson as well. And Brown has been uh, wearing the captain's armband. So Claire leading the charge up top uh, with Barkus and probably on the right if he's fit and available. Maguire potentially on the left. And you've got the likes of Harrop, Ledson, Potts, Stockley. I think that's that's it. You know, you might get Ledson in there maybe in place of, of, of Pearson if he's not ready. Uh, in fact, Ledson has been a pretty decent little player. Um, you might even, you might even, maybe you might even get Barkosen out of it. Johnson on the right hand side potentially, and, and Ledson if he's fit and raring to go. I probably would go with that. Uh, Barkosen probably suspended uh, for this one, so we'll, we'll we'll go with that one. So I'm going to go with right between sticks. Fisher, uh, Bauer, uh, Huntington at centre back, Rafferty of course, Ledson, Pearson, Brown, uh, Maguire of course, Sinclair, and Johnson of course heading into. This. So take a look at the host or the, the visitors. That's us, the mighty blue and white of course heading into. This. Armstrong's got himself eleven goals so far to his name. Johnson's got himself three. Big bad boy broton has got a couple of goals as well. Uh, Harvey Elliott has got three assists to his name. He's doing all right for himself as well. He might be a little bit rusty heading into this, but hey, yeah, you know, he's doing okay for us as a lone. He has a 17-year-old as well. Joe Roth has got himself a couple of assists as well, as does big bad boy Broughton. As for the yellows, no red cards for us so far. Johnson's got himself five, and I think he will be suspended for this one. Uh, Darryl has got a couple of goals. Uh, sorry, a couple of yellow cards, and so does Sam G. Take a look at the stats and figures then. Four Rovers heading into this bad boy. Of course, uh, these two sides, uh, you know, familiar opponents. But uh, the statistics that matter uh, for for Rovers, of course, they've scored a whole bucket load of goals. Uh, the majority of them coming through open play. Fourteen of them for open play. Four counter attacks, two set pieces, and two penalties. As for the possession, forty-one percent of all possessions kept in the middle third, thirty percent in the attacking uh, third, and twenty-nine percent in the defensive third. As for the attacking zones, thirty-nine percent down the left-hand side, thirty-five percent down the right, and twenty-six down the middle. As for our shots, sixty percent in the eighteen-yard box, just four percent in the scrappy yard, six-yard area. And of course, 35 long range bad boys uh, with 66% of our shots down the middle, 20% on the left, 14% down the right. Of course, heading into this though, what do we got on the horizon? Uh, four Rovers, of course. Uh, well, the last five has been okay. Uh, we've turned a corner. We're unbeaten in three, of course, drawing to Luton away days the other day, coming back from behind to, to get a point on that one. Then we took on QPR prior to that 3 1 went at you apart. That was our last home game. Uh, before that, was also a 0 0 draw against Middlesbrough, also at home. Before that, we lost to a Swansea 2 0, and we also got spanked by Red in a six goal thriller unfortunately we're on the receiving end of it on the flip side for Rovers heading into this or heading out of this uh, we'll take on Barnsley at, uh, at, at, at Rovers and Ewood Park and then it's Millwall so back to back home games there uh, that we would like to see possibly six points out of six if possible then it's Brentford and Bristol City away and then we'll kick uh, into the Christmas period we head towards uh, and it'll be Norwich on the 12th of the 12th 2020 down at uh, Ewood Park as well so, so a difficult run of games for Rovers heading into this let's, let's try and pick a team for us of course many injuries perhaps ranking Castello may not make it. Uh, who else maybe picked up an injury? But we'll go into it. We'll go to Downing potentially. He could get in the squad. Gallagher got himself a goal. Maybe could. Uh, force himself into discussion maybe at the expense of Elliot we'll have to see, see. I'm going to start with Tribal uh, at the, at the at one of the three men in the middle of the park Dirk Glass will continue at left back I thought he was very very good Pierce maybe but probably won't Elliot into top right hand spot here I've got Ayala who's waiting to get into the team Ranking Castell probably will miss it Chapman's also out Williams is potentially out as well uh, Evans also potentially out we've got a whole long list of, uh, of, of injuries Kaminsky goes between sticks though we'll go with that Amari Bell also on the hit list as well Bloody long list. Uh, Lenhan will hopefully play, of course. Uh, Nyambi, of course, coming at right back. Armstrong going in right down, smack dab in the middle. Joe Rothwell, of course, he's an integral player, and so is big bad boy Brereton. Holtby, 
a big old question mark for, for him if he comes in. And Bradley Johnson is suspended, so he will not go to get the nod. So if I'm a betting man, I'll probably go with Downing to start in place of, of Johnson, who is suspended. So that's the one question mark solved there. Ayala and, and Williams getting closer, ever so closer. I don't know. It might be Scotty Wharton, but I'm going to go with uh, Del Boy for the time being. And again, if, if Del Boy and Derek and, and Daryl Lennon play, I think that is our best uh, or most, uh, you know, uh, the, the partnership at the back that is more familiar with each other. And I think they, we perform better as a whole. But that would be my start line. I wouldn't be surprised to see if Downing gets his second debut in Rovers colours, of course. But we'll have to bloody wait and see. But let's take a look at the tail of the tape then, shall we? Of course, Rovers uh, taking on a press, of course, uh, averaging around about two goals a game. As to Preston, just one goal a game. 16 shots uh, on average for Rovers, 11 shots for Preston. Uh, we also pick up on average about two yellow cards to their one. Uh, we also pick up around about six corners to their five on average. And we also chuck in an extra foul to them as well. As for offsides, they're even Stevens. So is the, so are the aerial duels as well. Uh, we also boss possession, pass success rate, and also average rating according to whoscored.com. But the last, the tail of the tape though, gets a little bit more spicy as we look into deeper, deeper into this match. Of course, the last six between two sides, four ones for Preston, uh, nothing for Rovers, and two bloody draws. That's in all competitions, all venues um, heading into this. Armstrong uh, was on the score sheet. The last time these two sides played was, which was back in Ewood Park, uh, back on the 11th of January 2020 in a 1-1 draw. Uh, well, that's not a picture of that. Deep was a 3-2 win for Preston. Of course it was. Uh, we actually took a two-goal lead on that one. Only to get bitten in the arse with a three-goal comeback in the second half. Uh, so we were hoping that was going to be the day, but unfortunately, no. So, yeah, it's been a long, long time. However, the last, time, the last six at Deepdale... It's also going in favour of Preston. They've won four of the past six. We've actually won twice, uh, but the last victory was all the way back in 2015. A 2-1 win uh, with a Jordan Pickford. I didn't know he was at Preston on loan. Uh, big fat OG and Jordan Rose on the score sheet there for uh, Rovers, of course. Joe Garner get the consolation goal for Preston on this one. Heading into this, let's take a look at the last uh, six, their home form, uh, I guess our away form. They've actually just once, once the past six for them uh, in all competitions. Did I say six? Yeah, six. As for Rovers, uh, two defeats of the past five for them, if you want to look at it. Uh, our last defeat was against Swansea, so it was actually one win at the past four, and that was against Coventry. Big win, of course. Hopefully we can get one of those. A look at the form table heading into this. Of course, Norwich lead the charge. They're looking very, very good. And then Preston are actually all the way up to ninth. Rovers are actually in 11th. Not too shabby indeed, but we should be, we need to get up that table if we're realistically going to be in that top six discussion, which we always keep on saying. We're going to be in that top six. We're going to be in that top six. We're going to be in the top six, but we'll never be there. The home form for Preston is still woeful. The 23rd out of 24 teams. Uh, as for Rovers away form, we actually sit 12th in the table. We're right about midway. So just one defeat of the past. No, that's a lie. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we, we've got three defeats of the past six for them, but potentially hopefully we have the makings of a, of, of a win on our hands heading into this uh, anyway that's a little bit about the match about me and about the statistics and the analysis anyway what's been going on on social media let's take a look at the brfcs.com forum we are second coming wir second coming don't know what that means uh they are a bit jekyll and hyde like us at the moment i do think it's about time we turn the tide with this lot though too much abject uh surrender and too little of the rubber the green in recent and cancer me we need to be solid patient and clinical all of those things we don't seem to be able to depend on at any meaningful or timely way in recent years ho-hum i'm going for a dishonorable draw with rovers drawing first blood and the knob enders nicking something near the end bar knock benders nothing to fear but tony mowry tombolo la tuck tuck tactics uh but he said this press have actually picked up 13 points this season uh all 13 away from home that's that's a lie uh, they have just picked up a win just the other day uh they've uh, played at five at home and lost all of them great time for them to play us uh Home win nailed on, he says. So he's, he's going in favour of Preston. Uh, the injuries uh, to Holtby, Ayala, Williams and Ayala have all... Uh, we all we have a head of Luton trips. Sound like they should have cleared up in time for the Preston Northend game. These were actually made prior to the Luton, Luton Town game. I'm going to try and get a little bit more recent, uh, recent look into this. Uh, let's take a look at the ones that are uh, maybe post-match, of course. Um... Um, Hochi Bluchi Mama says, I hope, I hate Preston, I hope we dick them 5 0. However, I'm going to go with another 1 1 draw. Uh, another one here by uh, Dukes, or as things stand, their manager seems to have the measure of our Tony. Uh, well, well, we, well. Meanwhile, Matt 83 said this, think you're all being harsh on Preston, they have their very own cursed training ground in, 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 in Uxerton. And obviously, four stands now. It's the, it's the big time win. 
It's the big time with the attitude and swagger to match. That said, they do have the Indian sign over us. Uh, P.S. For what it's worth, I have a fair few knobhead supporting mates and have enjoyed many trip to turmoil with them and my mates. At least couldn't give a toss about Rovers like us. They're not looking for a rival in a way like clubs Bolton, Oldham and Wigan are. We, we both have one. That said, in terms of history and honours, we cast a rather huge shadow of our fellow Lanx clubs and it shows. That was a bit of a convoluted sort of comment, but we're, hey, we go on. Uh, Cherry Blue, if ever we needed to see a reaction from a previous game it's on Tuesday we failed badly at this place before and failed again and we're questioning Tony Rovers position we need plenty of goals a clean sheet and 100% 110% from everybody including Tony Mowbray uh, meanwhile Dally Dally said this um, uh, no he doesn't say anything he says nothing he says nothing don't with the cat says this Preston fans remind me of men with short man syndrome unhappy with a small height and it shows bitter and jealous towards their rivals they have so much to try and prove believe me it would upset me uh upset them more if they lost than it would us however it's always beautiful to silence cocky little jack russell's up uh anyway that's enough about that that's what the fans are saying what about cast did you cast it's over to you go on elsewhere on the championship well i'll tell you what's going on elsewhere uh what else do we have i'll well, take a look at some stats before we take a look at the fixtures of course uh possession wise rovers still in the top five and they're leading uh the leading team though are norwich with 58.4 percent per possession on average uh rovers are in third spot with 53 55.5 55.3 percent possession on average on, as for the most aggressive side Sheffield wants to lead the charge there with 20 yellows and four reds uh rovers not to be seen in that one as for aerial jewels though this is, could be interesting of course cardiff lead the charge at the moment 58.5 percent of all aerial jewels won uh, on the flip side, Preston are in second, uh, Rovers, sorry, Preston are in third, Rovers are in fourth, uh, and they're both teams around about the 55 mark as well. Uh, as for shots per, per game, Rovers still leading the charge with 15.6 shots per game, uh, but Norwich still lead the charge overall with 18.1. As for pass accuracy, Norwich lead the charge as well, 83.3% pass accuracy, Huddersfield is second, Rovers are in third. But again, at mouse for nothing though, as in regards to the table. Uh, heading into this though, the games this weekend or midweek will be a uh, bit of a fruity, of course, QPR taking on Rotherham, that's uh, down at Loftus Road, Stoke against uh, Norwich, that's at the better. 365. Wickham against Huddersfield, big one there. Luton Town against Birmingham, of course, as well. Uh, but the game of, of midweek will be at Deepdale. Preston taking on Blackburn, of course. Uh, Barnsley against Bradford, the Battle of the Bees. Uh, Bournemouth against Forest, of course. Uh, Millwall against Reading. Mill Middlesbrough against Derby as well on Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Bristol City against Watford and Swansea against Sheffield Wednesday. Coventry against Cardiff. Uh, kicking on forward. Let's take a look at, of course, the table at the moment. Norwich lead the charge uh, as it stands by one point clear of Bournemouth, uh, who are a tip of the top uh, the table going up automatic. Bristol City. Swansea, Watford and Reading make up the top six. So the foot the table, Derby, Swansea, uh, so Derby, Sheffield Wednesday and Wickham. I need my new glasses to tell you that now. They're going down as it stands, of course. Uh, look at this top table charts at the moment. Adam Armstrong leads the charge with 11 goals. Uh, I'm Tony, not too far away. Even Lucas Chow doing very, very well in the top three. Tyrus Campbell's up there now in the top five as well. Tuma Puki also kicking into top gear. Sinclair's also up there with five goals to his name. Groenveld, Ayu, Gordon and Pedro to complete the top ten. As for the assist men, uh, in Bembrey, the charge with five assists. Campbell's got himself five as well. Looking very, very good to him. Uh, Bidwell's got himself four as well as Tofolio and Martin as well and that's pretty much all I've got for you except for a list of players that I play for both Blackburn Rovers and Preston who's your favourite pick out of this bad boy we've got the likes of Gareth Ainsworth we never really played for Rovers of course so we've got uh, Alex Baptiste uh, who else do we have in there we have uh, Marlon Brooms oh goodness gracious me uh, some really good names John Curtis is in there Callum Davidson as well Kevin, Kevin Davis uh, Gallagher Paul Gallagher of course he's a good one Kevin Gallagher as well uh, bloody the list is long the list is ever ever long uh, but anyway put your picks in your comment section down below I would have to say my my pick would be uh, who the bloody hell would my pick be? It would be Josh King. Josh King, I didn't know he played for Preston, but anyway, that's good to know. Uh, that's it, my friends. That's pretty much all I've got for you today. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, bang the old subscribe button. Of course, keep your bang up to date with all things Black and Rose later, Championship later. Whoa, for Bruno, we're going to go here under one Ruski. Yes, my friends, of course, we are doing this on the fly. And I'm on the road. I've got to get back to. I've got work to do. I've got work to go and get these videos up, and hopefully, we can get them up in time. But I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. Again, be sure to check out the links down below Twitter, Twitch, tw Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. And the Patreon, if you want to support the channel.
Now, in another way, I'm going to get on the road, guys. We're going to make sure I don't run anybody over. Um, I've left the car on. I've got the air conditioner on because it is a little bit hot outside. But we're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to get going. Until then, though, be sure to be safe. Mask up six feet. I'm here. I'm bloody well here. I'm off. I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy. I'm out.